Hello, I'm David Finlayson with Chesapeake Technology, and today I'd like to show you a really powerful tool built into SonarWiz for adjusting the position of towed side scan imagery so that it better matches an underlying chart or bathymetric surface that you know has better positioning. It's pretty common with towed side scan surveys that overlapping track lines will pick up the same target, but the target will show up in slightly different locations in each track line. Here's an example. Here we have three overlapping side scan files. I'll zoom in so that you can see a large rock that shows up in each one of these lines. The rock target is very distinct in each of the lines. However, if I switch to the next line, you can see that the same rock shows up in a different location. If I allow the rock target to shine through from the tracks lower in the image stack, you can see that the rock shows up in a different location in each track. Assuming that you've already applied sheave offsets and cable laybacks, you might think that you're just going to have to accept some slop in your image mosaic, but SonarWiz has another trick up its sleeve. If you have a chart or multi-beam image that you believe is better navigated than the side scan traces, you can use the map correction tool in SonarWiz to rubber sheet the image mosaics to match. It's really easy to use. First turn on the map that you're going to use as truth. I'm going to use a bathymetry grid in this example. Next, find a target that you can clearly see in both the truth image and the sonar imagery, like this rock here. I can use the swipe tool in the toolbar to pull the side scan imagery back and reveal the underlying bathymetry underneath. Now open the map correction tool. The first thing we're going to do is turn off all the side scan files so that we can see the bathymetric grid underneath. And here's the rock that we're going to use as truth. So we start by adding a new map correction. We add a point, and then we mark where truth is, where the center of the rock is on the map. And the little blue icon shows up to indicate where that is. The next step is to turn on the first side scan file and find the rock in the side scan file. So I add a point that indicates where the rock is in the side scan file. This time the icon shows up as green and it's connected to the true point with this dashed green line. We can turn on the map correction and SonarWiz will display what the sonar file will look like after the map correction has been applied. You can see here that the rock in the sonar imagery now matches up with the bathymetry. Now we're going to repeat this process with each of the side scan files that overlap the target. So here's the next one. I'll put a pin in that indicates where that rock is. There we go. Now move on. Here's the map correction once it's been applied. And you see it snaps over the top of the blue pin. Now let's do the final one. So turn this file off and turn the side scan on. And you see here's the other rock. Same target, just in a different location. We'll put a green pin over the top of that and turn the map correction on and it slews back over the top of the blue pin. So now we turn all the map corrections on and you can see that the rock target in each of the lines now overlaps and it overlaps with the bathymetry. So that's how map corrections work. You can have as many map corrections as you need to adjust your imagery to match uh, your underlying data set from one or two to dozens of them. To learn more about SonarWiz, visit us at www.chesapeaketech.com where you can download a free trial of SonarWiz and also learn more about our training schedule. Thank you for watching.